together and just really come up with some really good ideas on mobility and you know integrating top drive and those are all ideas that came from various loops and, and together you throw all those things in and uh, yeah you get a pretty strong strong company for our people to, that's a, that's a big advantage for the operator. I mean, I think they're very comfortable with Savannah. I think the equipment in the field's proven itself. Our, our generator system on this rig, these were the first two rigs, 654 and 655, that uh, we have a new Woodward control system on the engines. So when you turn the switch, they start themselves up, they warm themselves up, they rev up, put themselves online, shift the load. Top drive on this rig is uh, 600 horse, where the ones before were just 400 horsepower, so we upgraded the top drive. The biggest thing is probably the size of buildings. We shrunk everything down for height restrictions in Pennsylvania, so we have to lower all our buildings two feet. Uh, the cable crawler is the first for us uh, to be able to walk the rig, leave it plugged in and operating. The rig basically moves on two rails. It's jacked up on Hillman rollers. Uh, the Hillman rollers are on rams, so the rig is jacked up first on the Hillman rollers and rams, and then it's just basically moved along with cylinders on rails, and it's, it's a very simple design. Uh, you can move it you know, an X, X axis, Y axis, uh, by moving the rails either through the sub or along with the sub. We don't need trucks for the move rig. We can skid this rig from first hole to 75 feet to the last hole we got to on a pad. Uh, it's all done it all by itself. It takes about six minutes to move 12 feet. It's all, all remote or it's all local. Whatever you want to use, you can use that. We've got a remote thing for it. And then you can see what's going on. So make sure everyone is safe. You can actually move it a few degrees to get it lined up with your wellhead. And you can also go back and forth and you know jockey it around to get perfectly centered on your next well. According to what I've seen here this morning, it is twice as fast with its own walking system as verse as you hook onto two bid trucks. It's cheaper for the all company, uh, cheaper for us. We don't not the wear and tear for towing on the rig, breaking stuff. It's all controlled, and that's what drilling with these rigs is about: is it? the control. You know, when they're, when they're doing certain wells and they have, you know, with the bridging control and sliding, all that stuff, it's just that much finer to detail. Um, I think all the drillers like it. You know, it's, it's a very comfortable setting to be drilling in. AC, uh, you can go exactly how fast you want with the mud pumps. If they want to do three strokes, they'll do exactly three strokes. Same on the draw works, we set our, our, our stopping height and stuff, it stops exact spot every time. So, control. Well, she got a, uh, four crowns, four safeties on her. One so she comes down to one crown out on the ground, and then we got two more. We sits up in our draw works here. And then it'll, you just sit different things here, and she'll go to however high we want her, so that I can watch this here travel up and down, and I know it's where I'm getting close to the crown, so I'm safe that way. Being able to dissipate the energy of letting down a hook load with, through the AC motor, there's no noise, no brake noise. Uh, the, the rigs have better mufflers today. These are hospital quiet mufflers. It's, you know, it's very quiet today. We've got lots of cameras, and all of our screens and everything here will give us all uh, everything that we need to know. See it on the catwalk, pipe coming up, pipe going down. I can see if any guys are in danger down there or anything. Comfort-wise, well, for my part, it's pretty comfortable here.